heaven, in the secret place of his tabernacle. He shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up by my enemies round about me. Therefore, that already is sacrifice of God. I will see in the as the sea praises unto the Lord. Verse 7 and we will be together. And if ye shall come 
in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so. Blessed are those servants. Be he therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when he did not. And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward, whom his Lord shall make ruler over the household, to give them their portion of meat in due season? Of a truth I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all that he has. The Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, and at an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him in sunder, and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. Verse 48, we read together time. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. And to whom men have committed much, of him will fail us. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Minister Douglas, for reading the second lesson. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. We're still giving God thanks, still lifting up and magnifying the name of Jesus. As I said, today is Father's Day, and we're recognizing the fathers here today. The children will be doing a presentation for the fathers, but I'll be asking our pastor's wife, Sister Geddes, to just give some encouragement to the fathers that are here today. Asking Sister Geddes to give some encouragement to the fathers that are here today. And I'm going to be asking Sister Young just to share some encouragement to the young people that are here today. That Sister Young will be sharing with, towards the young people that are here today. As I said before, the topic, much to whom much is given, much is required. To whom much is given, much is required. At this moment, I'm going to be asking the secretary to come with the announcement, welcome, and any additionals in Jesus' name. Praise Shall we praise the Lord? Bless the Lord. Praise God. I give honor to the Spirit of God this morning. He is the head of our lives. Amen. Bless the Lord. And that is why we are afforded to be here today. Bless the Lord. Praise God. We give glory, honor, and praise to our Heavenly King. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God to our Pastor Gettys. The shepherd of this flock. Amen. Amen. And to his family, his wife beside him. And to all the officers, visitors, brethren, and the children. Bless the Lord. We are here today to worship his holy name. Praise God. I'm going to ask if there are any visitors here for the first or second time. Can you stand that we can acknowledge you? Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. It is good to be in the house of God. To worship and to magnify his name. Amen. 
Bless the Lord. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. We are happy to be in the house one more time. And especially it is Father's Day today. We don't have a lot of fathers here today. Many may be on the beach or gone somewhere to enjoy themselves. Amen. But we give God thanks for the fathers that are in the house today. Amen. Amen. Let us celebrate our fathers today. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. You know we have many fathers. We have Papa. We have Daddy. We have Dada. We have all different names. But we give God thanks for the fathers here today. The fathers who have stood up as fathers in raising their children. And not just raising them, but in the nurture and the fear of the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. We have to give what is due to Caesar, to Caesar. Amen. Bless the Lord. Praise God. We have a lot of deadbeat fathers, but we have good fathers. Bless the Lord. And we cannot take that from them. Bless the Lord. Praise God. And so today, we are honoring our fathers today. Amen. We have something in store for our fathers today. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Today is the anniversary of Deacon and Mother of Sullivan. And they're in the house today. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Coming from a far away. And they're here today. Amidst all the hops and downs and the thorns and thistles, they're here today. And we just want to give God thanks for them. And they are craving our sincere prayer today. They need our prayers. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. This afternoon is the closing of Jehovah Jireh's crusade. So those persons who did not get a chance to go, we still have a chance to go this evening. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Some of our virgin are gone on to talk more today. Let us continue to pray for them and those that are sick and are not here today. Let us continue to pray for them. Bless the Lord. Praise God. After service, Pastor would love to meet with the officers. So let us be reminded of our meeting with Pastor this afternoon. And on fifth Sunday, there will be a members meeting. That's fifth Sunday. There will be a members meeting right after service. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Our little ones are up on the choir today. The men and women of tomorrow. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Let us continue to pray for our children. Amen. Bless the Lord. That the Lord will continue to cover them. Because the enemy is loose and he's busy. And he wants to devour our children. Amen. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. There will be no fasting here tomorrow. Bless the Lord. Praise God. There will be no fasting here tomorrow. Fasting goes to missionary back for its own tomorrow. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Tomorrow, that's tomorrow in the evening at 5.30, there will be young people's meeting at 5.30 tomorrow in the evening. And on Wednesday will be prayer and Bible study. Also, this evening will be night service at 6 p.m. Bless the Lord. Praise God. If you come here with a praise, don't sit down on your praise today. Amen. Bless the Lord. Praise God because I know that he has done something. For you, whereof you should be glad. Amen. I'm happy to be here today. Yeah. Even though my right hand stood up and I can barely lift my finger. But I'm giving God thanks because yeah. it could be worse. I could be over by hospital waiting for them to give me an injection. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But I give God thanks. It can go halfway. Yeah. But I give God thanks. Amen. And this one can go by. Yeah. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. So there's something that we must all give God thanks for. And today... We are happy to be in the house and to be celebrating with our fathers and to give the father of all fathers our sincere praise. God continue to bless us today as we worship him in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the Lord.
Praise God. Lord, I praise God. Just to add to the announcement, I forget to tell the secretary. Sister Jennifer has called to say that she'll reach America safe and she's craving our continued prayer. And she's asking us especially to pray for our son, Alex. That's the other brother that was in the car with when, when the other son died. She's asking us to pray for him, especially he's not doing that well. But just let us be praying for him and be praying for her as she continues to lift up and to magnify the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Our, our choir is coming to us now while we collect the day's offering. While we collect the day's offering, the choir is coming to us. I'm going to ask Deacon McGrath to come and give thanks for the offering. And I'm going to ask Sister Janet Jones to stand with him. Now, Sister Janet Jones, stand with Deacon McGrath to collect the offering. Shall we praise the Lord? Please stand. Please stand. Let us all bow our heads. Father, in the name of Jesus, we truly thank you this morning. We lift you up this morning. We give you the glory and the praise this morning. Thank you this morning, Lord God Almighty, as you allow us to be in your house. God Almighty, as you bless us, Lord God Almighty, and as we come to give towards the work. Oh God Almighty, I pray as everyone give. Bless it, sanctify it. In Jesus' name we pray.
and to worship the Lord today. Today we have a brother of pastor worshiping with us, Brother Ryan. And I'm going to ask him just to share with us today. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Let us praise the Lord, church. Let us give God the glory. And deserve to the praise. And I greet the rest of my source in it. And I greet our special brothers and sisters this morning. Because we have to um, put myself in this church. Because there's a blessing in us. And, you know, we have a start by saying, Brother Guinness, Brother Guinness, and you know, me just really sit back and say, look what the Lord is. You know, a couple of years, one day, me come and say, Thomas, we do a business. Face some challenges in the mind, and we need somebody to talk to me, I don't know who, but we just need somebody, but this man come and he's been brought up right before me. You know, and we just start, we just go over and start sharing the problem with him and give me some good advice. And I say, wow, thank you, Lord, for sending him to me. He never said to me, he's a pastor, you know, we just start and we don't. And then we have to share the testimony with somebody. And he say, you know him, our pastor, though. I said, God, just so humble. In deal with the situation, yes. you know, and it set me to start watching. Yes. And me I watch him till me me preacher for the mission again, and me a preacher from good friend. Me I share the story with preacher, and he must say my boss. Eh? Yes, me I say God, we yes. are deal with me, yes. you know, but me still are doing it because I'm on a mission figure, yes. and me really now make nothing stop it. You know? So if I even did, me I go go where God send me. Yes. So when me come now and realize, Pastor, get us as a pastor, you know, we start deal a little closer. Yes. You know, go to have problem, you don't go to him and pray with me. You know, we are dealing with it. Here. And we are got to until God may have my church where we used to go, God allow me to set up a fountain in the church with water. I may mean, do everything until God said to me one day, him no want to see the fountain no more than it. Him no want to see the battle. Him want to see a fountain like when somebody touched the rock as Moses has touched the rock. I mean, I said, God, I want one. Him said, see him there. Him can do anything. And then my pastor then may try to say, we tell pastor again, is him a dream. But me as a pastor, you know, I come to church, go look for what I have to look for. But me decide to carry it for look. He have a confusion with my pastor that day. Because he must say, no, everything already. But the pastor is so confused. Because how the man have to do such a work and he not give a major now. But Pastor Giddings built that thing for me. And when he built it and he do everything and he give me it for the time. He never asks me the other. He just make it and give me. Yes. Me go in the church, set it up as God have me to set it up, and it was working well. Amen. Me I say thank you, Lord. Me complete this journey. But one night, now God decided to walk with me, and He never show me some people who we already chose. Yes. So every time, because He's a spirit, He never use a blue light. See, indicate to me who we choose. And Pastor Geddes are the one where put the green light for an MCC there. And me choose him. And he set up and put up the only one. You realize him are the only one. Never give me a problem during this mission. He just do what me say. And me say, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I may never pray, but I beg God every time. I beg God and I say, God, can you just allow me to go to that church one day? I never pray. I never pray because 
mechanics, so I don't know what to pray for. But I said, God alone. Me. But last week, he said, Go now. And I said, Thank you, Jesus. It was one of the happiest morning for me to read for this church. And I said, Thank you, Lord. And last week, I was in a church. And he said to me, carry Jolisa with you today, God, the church. And I was saying, God, carry this little girl. She come back with granddaughter. So we're that close. But this, yesterday while I was in church, I'm a home, I read, and I study with the study. He said, make him feel your everything where you said, good day. You know, so we give that chance. But while I was trying to find out why must I come to church today, and then God really now start telling me why I must come to church for them. And today, I'm going to say it's a happy Father's Day to have fathers in the house. But especially a special Father's Day to Pastor Geddes this morning. The spiritual father that God sent me to come to me on my own. And today, Pastor Geddes, as him allow me to carry four cases of water, he can never make it just carry them right here. So, him say to present them to you. Make sure nine carry water from the can. Yeah. Make sure ninety six bottle in the case. Four cases, and it's supposed to have ninety six. Make sure because him then tell you what they do with these ninety six bottle of water. Yeah. I the I'll be. For the years, God has shown me a picture with the water. And we do it all the years. Until now, when it's a seat here, we go release you. We get a picture on the other night when it's a release. Now the water on you. You can use it. When the Bible says, I'm going to pour out this bread from all flesh. He give me this blessing. Not that I'm better than anybody, but because we used to deal with bread and water. When he said, Out of my belly shall flow rivers of living water. You know, and we just really give that thanks. Because even one day during this struggle, you know, look back preacher again. <laughs> and one day when we down my house, I mean, I tell us, Problem today, seriously. I mean, here, preacher, call the phone and me look at me, can't touch the phone. Because somebody said, if you touch the phone, a judgment come. I mean, I tell us a preacher, call me, just to take me out of the house and me could answer the phone. But when he got down and come back, he still call me again and me could not hear but for the release. You know, so, church, me we just give that chance. We are here, and there is a glory coming to St. Thomas, and it won't be long. It won't be long, you know, because we have reached it. And this vision, when I take me in a body, in the hearse, in the mission, and I'm going to pick up dead, and I'm going to pick up dead, and I'm going to say, but it's when people are planning to kill people, because what we just have gone some house. And he knew the, the tree of Ethiopia going and he said, God, but when we reach one river, like out of town, when we have to drive through the water, something are interesting. Don't have the gully side and he may look, but by the top side there was a river. And when we said, Buddy, just give me a second, that river that look nice. Let me check what I want. But when we check that river, and when we swim up, the river, there was a glory behind it. And God says, see there, this is the glory. But we did have to go in at the dead vision just to get the glory. So this morning, Pastor, as God allow me to present you this piece of water, we just want to make this presentation to you in Jesus' name. And make sure you have 96 back of water when we tell you what they do with them and life will never ever be the same again in a St. Thomas in a your church anywhere you touch there is a blessing and me personally can say to you thank you Pastor Geddes for being that father to me to bring me to when God said build something I know construction but to be able to inspire you 
to build that fountain and how to that fountain water for that rock. That's a blessing. So come stand with me, Pastor. Well, come to the God. Preacher, come with me this morning.
Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord. They added God thanks and praise to be in his sanctuary and to be and to be among God's wonderful. I have been absent for a while, but I just want to thank God for life and for his goodness and, you know, for taking good care of me. The right, I'll put it this way, tender life, harder life. He can look up and care for us. And, you know, that shows the important role a father's play in one's life. So today I want to salute all the fathers. Happy and blessed Father's Day to you. And, um, do we do it good? I normally have, you know, something to hear or whatever in case. But I'm here just with open mind and just enjoying the presence of the Lord and just, you know, it wasn't so easy for me to be in church today at that time. And I, I want to not to come today, but oh, I would be so much. A great presentation from our brother and that still goes back to show the importance Fathers and fathers are wrong. I was brought up with both parents. I must say, for the tender part of my life, and you know, those are really, really very important years when you have to have parents around when you learn everything. Because those tender years, what I really got from my parents, they stayed with me even until today. Even until today, I am just, I would say 50% of my father and 50% of my mother. You know, so, you know, they could so far away in another country, but the foundation that was laid, it just goes and it keeps me. You know, my father is not a really disciplined here and I'm such a strong person. So I make sure I don't get myself in any trouble even to feel us up from the top. And today that sort of you know going into life, what you're not supposed to do, you know, do it. So I don't put myself in any trouble to go on the thing and the punish and all that. Uh-uh. I always try to, you know, stay on the straight and dark. Thanks to an amazing father and I sort of loot him in the grave. His memory, precious memory, lives on. I, I, I can never forget that day when I see that school, maybe nine or so. He and one of my brothers took me home. That he, I didn't even have appetite to eat. I didn't even have school lunch or whatever. I didn't even have touch. No appetite. Yeah, he took me home lunch and lunch. You know, school lunch. Yes, but I was so sick. And my father took me to this quiet place on the public and he really, really give the devil a blow because the devil wants to just break my life away. But my father and the Almighty said, no. And so he prayed. And I mean he did great. Years ago. Years, years ago, but it is indelible in my heart what my father did. I mean, continue because my father is a part of me being in the world, God. And then to my rescue, you know, I really, really admire those qualities in him. And they stand out. They really stand out in my moment. So, Father, you are so, so, so important. You know, I have my two children and so then who will be responsible for anything the part of God? I don't know what I understand. Is he the moment you make or your if if he 
never do it as you do it, it's me. If they do it as you do it, they hold me up. You know, I'm a tender age. I'm all a young girl in prison. My son went because I'm quite young. And he did come to me back on there. So I said, no, he's not going to fix it. He doesn't want that his money to be shot. So you know, they are so protective of their father. Very, very protective. So, Father, you are needed. Father, you are so appreciated. You know, and even if you say, I do your needed mother, role mother, you are to be there for your children. And some of you know, God, the command of the guys that you have, Father, are going to. What about you? You yourself, as a human being, you think you never get it, but you know, pick up no good qualities around. Huh? You don't think you can't pick up to the break that chain of not having, not having father around and my mother will follow me. To me, they are both important in my life. Very, very important and to this day. So, children, respect your children, respect your father. You know, respect mother that it will be well with you and that you will live long upon you and have to make crosses follow you. Do what you are to do. Show some regard and some respect, man. Don't think, oh, you're big now and you're a doctor. Show respect. Another word of God and God will honor you. You know, get to the body crosses that is following you and all the groups and all that. Just do your part, children. So disobedient and parents have to go to school and father to get themselves in trouble. No, father with that. You know, I always keep talk of father does not want to buy it. And I say, and, and sometimes I'm not keeping it from men, Sancho. Over the years, I ain't not even know anything to even come to memory from father because that's a wonderful father's out there. But I remember since this week, his father, his son was at a construction. I went this is the only one I recall. And he heard, and you know, was going to see, and he said, the boy men escaped. You know what did he do? What do you think he did? Huh? From the bay in them. And you know that those, that's the last time I said, which is escaped, you know, father and son. So that's something.
the boss of the age and the plan, the team fights with another child. <laughs> and you know, I waited for this punishment because of that she was today. So, parents, come on, let us make the society better. Amen. Yeah, man, because you're so going to be the next prime minister or the next one ever. And don't no, have no respect for them also. But, I mean, they are in the fact, they are in the program, they are doing a, a, a job. So, let me put them a party. We need to support them because somebody is there. And we need to be at the control so that everything is not chaotic. And everything they must have a whole life is for them.
taught me invaluable lessons about life. I am grateful to have you as my father. As many of the stars in the sky, so do I have as much regards to the man who brought me into this world. Love you, Dad. The one who taught me to believe in myself. Everyone can be a father, but it takes someone special to be a dad. Every father should remember that one day his child or children will follow his example rather than his advice. Thank you for being my rock. You are the best father anyone could ask for. Purpose. 
Because when God is blessing you, nobody can test you. Run your race and pass the button on. Stand up and be recognized. To the fathers, we don't want to scatter roses after you're gone. And we don't want to give you relief. To the girls, the mothers, the sisters here today, let's give the accolades now. Acknowledge and appreciate when there is a man in your life, in your home, and in your surroundings, don't beat them down for the little things that they had done. Beat them up for the much that they gave. And it, they, that will enthuse them to continue to do more. Father, be cognizant of the fact that you are the heir. The Bible said so in Genesis. One poet wrote, and I am paraphrasing, Dear Father, you didn't spare the rod, so you didn't spoil this child. But that this child has been spoiled. Yes, you don't spare the rod, but you didn't spur me on the way I should go. You didn't tell me I am the light of the world, the salt of the earth. After I've been trampled on, Father, how do you expect me to shine? What would I taste like? In 2016, when I was just 16, I was moving with the 16s and, and traveling and moving and firing M16, but I just couldn't understand St. John 3, verse 16. I knew the word but not the life that it gave. I knew the road to church, but not the road to Christ to save me. Father, Dad, you and Mom in devotion had many powerful prayers, but you couldn't see the PowerPoint right there standing before you. Me, Dad, love is not spending money. Father, it is spending time. I needed you. Father, I needed you. And I still need you. To tell you that, to tell me that the drugs can't fill that void. So I need something more stronger. Something new. I need the most I got. Papa, I need you to tell me Ephesians 5 verse 18. That I don't need to be drunk with excess wine but to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Father, 2 Timothy 2, verse 20 to 22. Father, why didn't you tell me that Revelation 3, verse 15 and 16, that in the kingdom there is no middle ground. You're either hot or you're either cold. And if you're lukewarm, God will speak to you out. That. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me that Hebrews 4 verse 16 says that I should come boldly to the throne of grace because only there can I obtain mercy. Father, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me that St. Matthew 11 verse 28 that I should come with my burden because only him can give me rest. In Romans 6, verse 23, that, why didn't you tell me that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ? Daddy, Papa, Father, I needed you, and I still need you to rise above the adversity and to be the man. I love you, Dad. God bless you. That's the charge to the young people today and the fathers. Today we have speaking to us, sharing in her own way, our youngest member. She's only eight years old. She was baptized, gave her life to the Lord last year. Today she comes to share with us in her own way. And that's no other person than Ciara, Sister Ciara Mighty, who is gonna share with us today in her own way. At this moment, I'm gonna ask the church to stand
and I'm going to ask her Sunday school teacher, Sister Davidson, to pray for her. Church, please stand. you as our father the love that you have for us lord you went oh god you sent your holy son jesus christ to die for our sins and this morning we give you praise we give you the glory we give you the honor we exalt you oh god here oh god almighty we are in your presence this morning nothing in our hands we bring but simply to your blessed cross we cling we cling to you, Lord, as our Savior. We cling to you as our guide. We cling to you, Lord God Almighty, as our Father, Jesus. Let your presence be felt in our moments, Lord. Let your spirit guide us this morning, Jesus. I pray you let your spirit saturate this place with your anointing. Your anointing will break every yoke. Your anointing will destroy. Hallelujah! The power of the Lord drag us. And so, Lord God Almighty, we can't do anything without you. Father, the enemy come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But you come to give life, and to give life more abundantly. Lord God, here is your daughter, your handmaid. Lord, one who you have called out among the children. Lord God Almighty, she has surrendered her life to you. And so she's going to stand, Lord God, in the pulpit to bring forth what it is, Lord, you have laid upon her heart. Father, I pray that you anoint her from the crown of her head, even to the soul of her feet. Lord God, I pray that let your feet as an apple of thine. Let your presence, Father God, fill this place. Open the ears of all oh God of your children this morning. Our oh, deaf ears, let us hear what God said me. Open our blinded eyes this morning to see you, Jesus. Father God, I pray you let your presence, Father, let your presence be felt among us, Lord. Let them be slain. And let you alone be lifted up to us this morning. God Almighty, I pray you anoint her afresh. God, give her that strength. Give her that courage. God Almighty, she's just eight here old. But Lord, your words this morning, as I sang this song, that my God can do anything. You can use anything. You can lose anybody. Because you are God. Take control this morning. And let your will be done. As we leave the hour mighty in your tears. In Jesus precious name. Amen. Congregation. We present the hour mighty. To the waiting congregation. In Jesus name.
or early father. We would love to have a relationship with our father to bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. If our fathers don't want to know us or to love us or to take care of us or to spend the time with us, then Jesus said in Psalm 27, verse 10, when my father and mother forsakes me, then the Lord will take me up. Amen. That's why for the Lord provide mom to take care of me and my sisters. Thank you, mom. Thank you, church. Thank, but most of all, thank you, God. Church, our heavenly Father will never, never leave us or forget us, so let us look to him today. I ask the youth to stand. Young people, I live with you. First Timothy 4, verse, verse 12. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in words, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Thank you, Jesus. Can all the fathers please stand? To all the fathers, may the Lord bless you, protect you, and be gracious to you. Have your own a happy, happy Father's Day. Bless the Lord.
Yes. There is strength. There is something to attain. There is something to gravitate to. And today we have gained that from this little or daughter or sister, young member of this church. Just baptized a few months ago. She stands today to share the word of God. The word of God. Bless the name of the Lord. In Psalms 27 verse 10. When your my our father and mother forsake us, then the Lord will take us up. Anyone tell you without a father, without a mother? You don't have to lift your hand, you don't have to raise your hand. You have to say, I am one. But God knows you're there. You are now in his care. We are all in his care. I ain't got no father, I ain't got no mother. My mom is gone, my father is gone, but God has been taking care of me. I was young and I'm whole, I've never seen the rest forsaken. Now is he begging bread? And though young you may be in this moment, God will take care of you, my love. God will lead and direct you. Oh, praise the one upon the name. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Listen to the voice of a darling daughter. One was given a life to the Lord when she learned that the baptism would be here, that often one question. She said, Pastor, I want to be baptized. When her mother, the mother said, yes, I can't stop her. She gave her life to the Lord, and the Lord has been leading her since then. There is still further for you to go, my dear. Stay under his anointing. He will come to God and protect and preserve you for this purpose. And even great work shall he do in my name to the Lord. Father, I touch. I pray to touch your daughter right now. Cover your blood, she in the right presence. God is going to protect her. God put words in her mouth. Give her strength as she go forth. That all but school and play, wherever she may be, Lord God, the Bible will share your words. In Jesus' name, God bless you. We love you. We praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. We praise him then. Hallelujah. And the evangelist Douglas. Bless the Lord. Come on, church, worship the Lord. You see, sometimes we have to be very careful what we do. And sometimes we do and don't know what we do. And sometimes we don't know what we do and what we do. Bless the Lord. You know what I've seen in this church? I've seen something that we do in this church. That when the preacher come here and he finish preaching, we have an offering for the preacher. And we see we do it for everybody. Bless the Lord. Well, I'm going to lead the charge today because I don't know how she's going to go to school Monday morning. So I'm going to make sure she should, what is good for the group? Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Somebody should pass me a charger here. Bless the Lord. We got to do something for them. Yes. Pass me that offering to play here because we need to do something for them. Bless the Lord. We are not, we are not paying anybody to preach, but we are setting an example. See if we do it for Tom, we have to do it for Dick. Amen? Amen? Bless the Lord. So I'm asking those of you who can, let us bless the preacher. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Come on church, bless the Lord. Come on church, bless the Lord. And we have seen it happening here. People come, people preach, people get their things and people go. And we don't know what is happening with her. She goes to school, how she eats, how she drinks. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I'm really sorry to disturb Pastor, but I have to do what the Spirit of the Lord has me to do. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank you very much. God bless you. And no hand over back to. Bless the Lord. The second is just coming. Praise the Lord. God bless you. No hand over back. God, may you bless this offering that is here presented. Oh God Almighty, to our little child that has brought the word today, may you bless everything that it has to do with her today, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. When your father and mother forsake you, say who? 
Set full. The Lord. Say the Lord. I will take you up. Who this afternoon willing to be taken by the Lord? Willing to say, take my life, Lord, let it be. Consecrated to thee. Take my moments and my days. Let it flow in Jesus' praise. This afternoon, is there one person that shall and huddle to the reach of my voice, to the reach of the preacher's voice, who would rather say, Yes, Lord, I'm willing to ask you to lead me where you will. My mom is gone, my father is gone. Some mothers have cursed and swear that you are not my child. Some are given away, some are thrown away. I found life stranger, and I'm here alive today, Lord. Could you take my life in your hand and lead me? Are you here today? You wish to say yes to the Lord for the first time? He's waiting on you. If you're here, we want to we hear you say yes, Lord, I'm ready. Is there a child sitting in the quiet seat? Is there a child sitting on you? There's another prayer you may be. We are ready to say, take my life, Lord, and let it be. Yes. Yes. Is there one? Which of you would raise your hand and say proudly, I'm going to pray the Lord. He leads me. Praise God. Praise God. Say. given therefore much is expected like our boss on earth expects of us to accomplish the job or the task is given to us so is the lord the god of heaven expects of every man who has given this life to live the bread of life to go forth to reproduce yes yes he's expecting each of us to do the best we can for him because we are accountable to him on the last day. He shall call us, each of us, save or unsaved, to answer the question of what we have accomplished in life. Therefore, on this Father's Day, 
I beg of our loved, loved ones, mothers and fathers and children, be accountable to the man who gives you life, the man who gives us his life. See how best we can take care of it. The reason why is it, while we are yet alive, for you see, a life ants, a life ants is much greater, stronger, and better than a dead liar. You hear that one? A live ant is much stronger, better, and greater than a dead lion. Take care of the life you have. See to it you spend time wisely with God and with your neighbors and friends. That when we are while we shall, while we are yet here, before we leave, and when we shall have left here to the higher place of the calling of God, we can hear that well done from Him. Take the advice of a little daughter today. We will say, when your father must mistake you, the Lord will take you. You can ask him to teach him your ways, and he will lead and guide you into all paths. May God bless you. To whom much is given, much is expected. Take care of yourself. Look forward to that end. And to put your life in, uh, in, in put your life in the position of laboring for the Lord before you go ends. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Uh, I think the secretary of the leaders would like to share for the thoughts here. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to ask all the fathers to stand and come up here that we can present you with a little token of our love and appreciation on your special day. Can all the fathers please come up here, please? Enjoy your 
praise the Lord. Let's praise His name. We all today to say, we can say, to God be the glory. To God be the glory. God be the glory. Great things He has done. Thank you all for sharing with us today. On this great day, Father's Day, we don't have to speak around. But as long as you're here, the friends of God has been with us. We have a great time. We praise His name. And I wish you all a great day. Enjoy your day as the Lord has to lead and direct you. And bear in mind, keep trying to carry what the duty God gave you to do the best way you know how. God bless your family and all. Take care of your children and take care of one another as the Lord. God bless you. Stand for that. You can stand as we bring our social media to close. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing with us. Certainly, without you, we never reach where we have reached. And spread the success we have spread today. God bless you. Let's all stand. gathering of the day. God bless you. Could you bow your hands, please? Eternal God and Lord, we want to thank you again for this gathering. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for God. Guidance and protection. We give you all the gratitude. We give you all the praise. All glory belongs unto you, Lord. And so today we honor you. We lift up your name above every name. You are omnipotent, omnificient. You are first, last. You are the beginning. Lord, you are the end. There is none before you, Lord. There is none after you. And so we give you all the gratitude at this moment. Thank you for the gathering today. Thank you for your word. Thank you for all that is said and done, Lord. And we ask your God your guidance. Lord, we thank you for the fathers today, Lord. Bless each and every one who is here today. And even those who couldn't be here, but feel fear because of various reason. Lord, we pray you stretch that blessings over all, Lord. Thank you for the Jamaica. Thank you for your people. Thank you for the gathering of the Word of God. Oh, God, thank you today. Bless today's gathering. Bless your people as we're about to go, Lord. We pray you cover us, Lord, and for the rest of the um, um, procedures today, Lord, we ask your guidance and your protection. We ask for your strength, your wisdom, your knowledge, and your guidance. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures there below. Praise Him above His heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. We sing. Amen. And now may the saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Lord the Father, the Holy Spirit, come.